Hi you guys, today we're gonna review Immersive Withering, as a lot of you people wished for a full review in my 50 Vanilla Enhancing Mods video. It adds various realistic features into your game, just like rusting or weeds, so let's start! Moss. Cobble, stone and bricks will have moss growing over them if exposed to certain conditions, like nearby moss blocks, water or vines. Remove it with shears, which grants the player moss clumps. These can be used to turn a block to its mossy version. You can speed up this process by using bone meal on a mossy block. If you dare to try to eat moss, you will be surprised. Yeah, nothing happens. However, combine a moss clump with gold to create a beneficial food item with region 2, absorption 3 and water breathing 3. Bricks. Bricks can now crack. This only happens over a very long period of time and are more likely to happen if nearby bricks are already cracked. Manually, this can be done with the pickaxe, giving the player a brick item. It can be used to uncrack bricks. Wood. Log stripping is a very useful way to decorate your structures, but sometimes it can just happen by mistake. Immersive weathering solves this issue as you will get the bark back when stripping logs. Thus, reapplying is possible, which can also be used for paper crafting. Suit Natural suit appears on solid blocks above or near campfires or fires. It is also obtainable when extinguishing these sources. One can craft ash with it, a gravity affected block. Use a flint and steel or place both a suit and the ash next to magma blocks in order to convert them into a smoldering state. These will damage entities walking over them if they don't wear the enchant frost walker. Extinguish them with a right click. Before moving on, fire can burn grass blocks, turning them into dirt. Suit is also used for mulk. Not only do these reduce fall damage, they create a fire signal if placed under campfires and can be soaked. When moist, crops can grow on them. In order to soak mulk, one either needs a water bucket, rain, or place it in a humid biome. Naturally, they will dry out when in a hot biome. The counterpart is the nether variant, which comes with the same features. However, it can be filled with lava. Rust. Almost all iron materials will rust over time due to air. To become weathered, it needs to be exposed to rain, while fully rusted only will apply due to direct contact with water. It can be sped up by placing next to a bubble column. The higher the stage of the rust, the slower the iron contraptions will respond to redstone, while full rust will hinder it to respond without an extra signal. Stages of rust can be added with a wet sponge. To remove it, though, use an axe. This only works in the first stage. Wax an iron block to prevent rust from applying. Apart from the new mechanic, immersive weathering also adds new decorative iron blocks. Icicle. These new ice packs will generate in snowy heights and even when it's sunny under ice if water is above it. These will melt in hot biomes or if the light level is too high. If hit by a projectile, these will fall. Additionally, they can be consumed, granting fire resistance but also cooling you down. Leaf piles. An anesthetic feature are the leaf piles that will build up under each tree, including a cilia and even on water. These piles can be crafted into leaf blocks and will create particles. Shear a cilia to get the flowers, which can be used on a cilia blocks to make them flowery. Spread them with bone meal. Or craft them into a flower crown that will display bloomy particles around your head. Extended natural growth. Not only will grass spread over time, but depending on the environment around it, different saplings and flowers will grow, like mycelium mushrooms, grass into tall grass, potsol fern, rooted dirt hanging root, coral blocks, their respective corals, nylium, their specific fungus. Lastly, weeds can generate, even on farmland, replacing potential crops, but not on mulk. That was today's video. Which feature you think was the most realistic one? Which one did you like the most? Stay safe and game. Ciao!